Welcome back. A man's revealed how he was told not to tell anyone after being infected by mistake with HIV and hepatitis C. Derek Martindale fought back tears as he took to the stand for the start of a public inquiry into the NHS's contaminated blood scandal. Thousands of patients were infected in the 1970s and 80s. Many died and those who survived say they've suffered greatly. Leila Hayes reports. I was infected in 1974, aged uh, 11. I'm a widow of a severe haemophiliac who died of AIDS. I had to go home to my mother and sit down with Graham and tell him at 15 that he got HIV. These are just some of the harrowing testimonies from those affected by the contaminated blood scandal. Today, the inquiry opened with evidence from Derek Martindale, who arrived with his wife and son. Derek, who has haemophilia, was infected with HIV after being given contaminated blood products on the NHS. With his son by his side, he described the day he was told. Went at lunchtime to get the results, and I was told that I was HIV positive. Um, I was told I had about a year to live. I was told not to tell anybody, including, uh, excuse me, including my family um, and my parents. And you were 23 years old then, I think? Yes. Derek's brother Richard, who also had haemophilia, was diagnosed with HIV too. Derek says his biggest regret was not being able to support him before he died. He knew he was dying. He knew he had AIDS. And that he didn't have long to live. And um, he just wanted to talk. He wanted to talk about this, talk about his fears, how scared he was. But I couldn't. It, 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 was, it was too close to home for me. Um, and I wasn't there for him. The inquiry, chaired by former judge Sir Brian Langstaff, will look at how thousands were infected with hepatitis C and HIV from contaminated blood in the 1970s and 80s. Sir Brian Langstaff praised the bravery of those giving evidence here. He said people would be at the heart of this inquiry and it will be frightened of no one in the conclusions it may draw. Derek told me he just wants the truth. It would be good to know who thought that something was worth more than all of these lives. And that's what would be good to come out of this. Thousands have already died. Those still living through this hope the inquiry will finally bring answers. Leila Hayes, 5 News.